Howdy friends, welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Play Pokemon HeartGold. We are still here in Azalea Town, having just recently defeated Gym Leader Bugsy, and we are now about to start another very difficult battle. Um, don't think we need to see Kurt yet, so let's head towards, I think it's Elex Forest. But wait, look who it is! Tell me something, is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What, you beat them? Ha, quit lying. Are you serious? And let's see how good you are. All right, bring it on, Owen. And you actually can face him before Bugsy if you'd like to. At least I'm pretty sure you can. I always like when games have sort of like dual bosses like that where you can fight them in any order. Jade Empire did that a few times, which is another game that I have a let's play of if you are interested in seeing it. All right, so he too has a Ghastly. I was thinking he had like a Hoot Hoot first. Um, this could be tough. I could bring out my Ghastly. Hmm. I really don't want to end up with Cherry being cursed or um, licked into paralysis. That would be really unfortunate. Who else do I have? Geodude. Geodude probably doesn't know. Yeah, anything that can affect Ghastly. I could bring in mine, but mine's basically the same level. And if I bring in Olive or Hoot Hoot, then um, they won't take damage from Lick, so it could be like an endless battle. Let's bring in Hoot Hoot, because Hoot Hoot, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Hoot Hoot could put Ghastly to sleep. Ghastly could also put Hoot Hoot to sleep. But, um, oh, actually, you know what? Ghastly has... Oh, glad I switched in time, because otherwise that mean look could have been very bad if uh, it happened on Bayleaf. That would mean Bayleaf couldn't switch for the rest of the battle. Um, I do know Peck, which can affect a ghost type. So let's try Hypnosis first. Curse, okay. So Curse is an interesting move. You saw me use it before. When a ghost type uses it, it uh, you lose half your HP, and you put a curse on the opponent's Pokémon. Um, the only way to get rid of it, or the only way I know of, um, is to switch the Pokemon out, which I now can't do because of Mean Look, so that's actually a really good combination there. Even though Ghastly's asleep, that actually wasn't the best move on my part because it couldn't hurt me anyway. Um, yeah, I should have just started pecking to lower its health. Because now I just have to stay in until the curse eventually kills poor Hoot Hoot. Unless I can kill Ghastly first. If I beat Ghastly first, then the Mean Look goes away. But at that point, I would probably still let Hoot Hoot faint for a free switch. We'll see if he has any um, any potions. I think I can survive one more turn of Curse, which is good, because at least Hoot Hoot would get some XP then. Although if I didn't, then um, Bayleaf would get it, so that would be actually better, since I do plan to use Bayleaf long term. It's been kind of fun, though, using these other Pokémon for the time being, until we get our, our real team. Alright, leveled up, but still hurt by the curse. Zubat is his second one. That's right, he has a, um, a Zubat. So I'm sure Zubat's faster. It, it might not kill me if it only knows Leech Life. Um, let's see if I can put it to sleep. It does know Bite, though. Bite is actually a pretty good attack. It is a Dark-type move with 60 base power. Not bad at all. Um, now, his entire team is good against my one trained Pokémon. Hmm. Um... And what's unfortunate about Bite is that it's good against... It's super effective against Ghastly, because Ghastly's go type, ghost type. It's not resisted by Geodude, so there's not much Geodude could do either. Olive's level 1. Um, I guess I've got to go with Cherry. This could be an even tougher battle than the one against Bugsy. Uh, I am going to use Reflect, because if it uses Bite, I want to make sure that's doing half damage. Bite is a physical attack. Supersonic, okay. Um, hmm. I do want to switch because I want to get rid of that confusion. I don't want to risk that. I'm going to bring an Olive for a free switch. Sorry, Olive. I need you to uh, be a sacrifice. Oh, look how cute he is. Even Leech Life will probably take care of a level 1 Togepi. Togepi doesn't have very good stats. It's only a baby, it's only a baby Pokemon. Wow, Leech Life is just that weak. Wow, it knows extra sensory. How on earth does it know extra sensory? I didn't... 
that's shocking. I thought Togepi started with no attacks, let alone a really good one. I didn't breed it, it's from Professor Elm. Extra Sensory is actually a really good attack. It's too bad Togepi's not a higher level. Almost makes me want to makes me want to train this Togepi. If um if it didn't have a bad nature and a bad ability, I probably would. But um I'm sure I can breed one with the same attack. Alright, so now we can go in cleanly. We have our reflect up for maybe three more turns or so. Maybe only two, because it's kind of unfortunate that Togepi lived through that. And I missed. Wow, this is not good. And it supersoniced me again. Grr. So all I really achieved there was that um, my reflect now has even less turns on it. That's unfortunate. Okay, let's go ahead and switch into <laughs> Geodude. This is not going my way at all. I'm a little scared right now. Leech Life probably won't kill Geodude, but it can now use Bite, and there's no more Reflect. Um, Mud Sport's not going to do anything. Defense Curl, I'm not going to live long anyway. Let me just start getting some damage on this Zubat. I need to get lucky with a crit. If I knew a Rock-type attack, that'd be great. Oh, I should have taught him Rock Tomb! That would have been awesome, even though he's level 6. That would have done a lot of damage and lowered Zubat's speed. Oh well. Might be better that I save that for one of our more long-term Pokemon anyway. Good job, Judy's actually doing a really good job here. It does a very good defense, even though it doesn't resist bite. Alright, so Judy put up a decent chunk of damage on Zubat. Um, so let's bring out... Oh, okay, so should I bring out Ghastly? No, Ghastly's weak to bite, definitely don't want to do that. I'm really worried about that Supersonic, but I think Supersonic only has 55% accuracy. So, um... Let's go for the Reflect in case Zubat uses Bite. It might try to use Leech Life though, which is super effective. Okay, good. It missed. I was hoping for that. Uh, we're going to use Tackle. Do some more damage on Zubat. Very nice. The one nice thing here is that Zubat is actually a pretty weak Pokémon. Even though it has a very big type advantage. Hopefully my rival doesn't have any potions. If he does, he's not using them. Okay, so we still have like three turns left on Reflect. And here's his best Pokemon. His own starter has evolved into a Quilava. And say, you've got a lot of nerve coming here. I don't know if it knows Flame Wheel yet. If it does, that's a very good fire type attack, but it is a physical attack. So Reflect will be very, very, very beneficial. Um, but it, I'm pretty sure it does know Ember, which is special, which is going to do a lot of damage, Reflect or no Reflect. Luckily, Quilava only singly resists Razor Leaf, so Razor Leaf, Razor Leaf should still be a decent hit. I really can't talk today. Okay, I drink a water while I wait on the Razor Leaf. Not as much as I had hoped for. Lear is going to lower my defense. See, if I had a free switch in, I would probably use it now. Then bring in Ghastly to do a curse. But if I switch now, Ghastly's going to take a Ember. And, it's, and Quilava's probably faster than Ghastly. It's hard to tell, because Ghastly is pretty fast. But I'm just worried I couldn't get that curse off in time. I don't want to waste Ghastly. I think it's, it's a little safer. If Chikorita, if um, Bayleaf rather, loses this matchup, Ghastly might be able to finish off Kolava. It's lowering my defense, but how oh, and I'm to reflect. So if it knows Flame Wheel, I am in big trouble. Um, if it knows Ember, though, I'm still in trouble, but maybe a little bit less trouble. Do I go for the Razor? Sam, what I'm worried if I do the Razor Leaf is it won't kill it, and then he'll use a Super Potion. But I'm still faster, so let's do that. And if I do defeat it, then yay, we're good. Because I don't think it can one-hit KO me, even with a um, Flame Wheel. And it uses Leer, okay. So it doesn't seem like our rival is very smart when it comes to battling. He had a lot of chances to attack me there, and he did not. Quilava, I think, can also learn Quick Attack, but that wouldn't have been too bad. Alright, good job, Cherry. <laughs> useless Pokemon. Listen, you. You only won because my Pokemon are weak. No, I lost. Your Pokemon did fine. It was you who used really stupid moves. I hate the weak. Pokemon, trainers, it doesn't matter who or what. I hate to see them hanging around. That goes for Team Rocket, too. They think they're big and tough as long as they're in a group. But get them alone and they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. You won't be an exception if you get in my way. 
I think I did just get in your way, and nothing bad really happened. Getting a phone call from Bloodcatcher Wade, it looks like. He uh, lost a Metapod, and he really wanted it. Well, that is a shame. Every once in a while, these guys will call with something interesting, but usually it's just a vent. Which is what friends are for, right? But it's a little less rewarding when it's a virtual friend, not a, a real person. Alright, we are going to heal up our Pokémon, though, and hit, head into Ilex Forest, or Elex Forest. Whichever way you pronounce it. So it's funny, because I, I thought Togepi would start with, like, Growl and Charm and not know any good attacks at all. Um, and in that case, I was going to wait to train it until I could get some TMs to teach it better moves. But now that I know it knows extra sensory, obviously I'm still going to switch it out. But um, I'm going to see if there's a way I can get mine to know extra sensory or an equivalent move as well. Still, I'm going to wait till between the episodes, obviously, because we've only been going for 11 minutes and we still have plenty of time in this one. Oh man, my boss is going to be angry. The Farfetch that cut trees for charcoal took off in the forest. Can you catch them for me? Farfetch have sensitive ears. If you step on a branch, they'll face towards you. That's your chance. Sneak up from behind and catch them. Do you think you can do that? Uh, I think I can manage. So it's actually a little puzzle coming up, which is really cool. There's Farfetch'd. And um, there's something else in this forest that I really, really want. Whoops. Triggered a Pokemon battle. But I'm pretty sure you can't get it until you can cut down that tree. And to do that, we first have to help this guy and the Farfetch'd. Luckily, by defeating Bugsy, um, we got the permission to use Cut. We have the badge that lets us use it in the overworld. But we still need to actually get Cut by doing this little quest here. I don't think I can get through here without stepping on these rocks. Or these sticks, rather. Okay, so it's facing the direction of when I step on the sticks. And the goal is to chase it out. So a lot of this is going to be trial and error. I don't really remember how this puzzle goes. Let's go ahead and use one of those repels, because I don't want to be encountering wild Pokemon while I'm in this uh, puzzle here. So what's over here? An item ball and some more sticks. So this is part of the puzzle as well. A revive, that's a very good item. But again, we're gonna try not to use it unless we have to. Um, I won't mind using items outside of battle, like in between fights, but I feel like each fight itself should be fair. All right, let's just start going. Let's see how this works. So we scared off Farfetch'd. So we have to catch it from behind. Hmm. All right, so we need to scare it into the open for one thing. The side must not count. Is he going to go in a big circle? How do I get him out of there? Um. Oh, okay, I have an idea. Well, regular repels do not last long at all. Hopefully we'll have enough badges to buy super repels and then max repels soon. So I have an idea. This might be... This almost feels too easy. Let's give it a try. If I do that... I feel like the puzzle in Generation 2 was more difficult. And I can do this. Gotcha! Alright. That was not that tough after all. Didn't even have to use most of the puzzle. I'm not even sure you can, because it feels like he would just go in a big loop and there's no way to get him out of that loop. Wow, you found a Farfetch, thank you. But there is one more missing. If you step on a branch, you will face that way, remember? That's your chance to catch it. Oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. And that's good, because I was worried that I was not having as much fun as I could have been. So this one's going to be a little tougher, I'm sure. Um, okay, let's go ahead and uh, scare him this way just to get him in play. Use another repel. Um, he's already facing this way, so I might as well go here. So, hmm. Let's, um, let's talk to him again. Again, we have him kind of going in a big loop. I feel like I need to get him to that second 
loop in the upper right there. But if he just runs as far as he can, how do I do that? I'm not sure there is a way. There's gotta be something here. Maybe he doesn't run all the way back? Because as long as he's running into a corner, I can't sneak up behind him no matter what I do. And I don't see any way for him not to go in a corner. Seems like he's in perpetual running corner to corner. Maybe if I do this, he'll stop on the sticks? No. Hmm, okay, this one's a little more challenging, because... I'm really not seeing what I'm, what I'm supposed to do here, because whenever, whenever I talk to him, he just runs into the next corner. And as long as he's in a corner, there is... Maybe that's a bad assumption, maybe there is a way. Okay, are there sticks up? Ah, oh, that's what it is. Okay, I got it. Very clever game developers. Alright, I need to send him up here. Um, now I need to walk on these sticks. Oh, but there's another thing of sticks there. How do I get around that? That's interesting. So what I was thinking is that I could get him to face like those right sticks and then go around to the left. But maybe there's a gap above that north set of sticks? Let's use one more repel. Okay. That's the answer. Okay, as long as I don't step on that pile of sticks, he will stay facing that way and I can catch him. Very nice. It's a fun puzzle. They did a very good job with that. Definitely could be hard for kids, but I suppose you could just try it long enough and you'll eventually figure it out. And it's good too, because I feel like it's it's a good like brain development tool. Like it's not quite an educational game, but solving puzzles definitely stimulates you and makes you think. Um, which is good for kids. Good for anybody really. Wow, you got both of them! Thank you so much! My boss's Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have a badge. Oh, you saved me. Speaking of his boss. Ah, my far and fetched. Oh, very clever names. You found them for us, kid. Without them, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? I know. Here, take this. Oh, it's nighttime. It just changed. Uh, I guess it's 7 o'clock in game. It's about 6 o'clock in the real world. That's the HM cut. Teach that to a Pokemon to clear small trees. Of course, you have to have the gym badge from Azalea to use it. We already do. I don't want to apprentice. Definitely not for 10 years. He says the same thing. I think if I go back to their house now, I get a pretty good held item from one of them. Let's go check. There we go. Got a charcoal. Charcoal is basically the equivalent of Miracle Seed um, for fire type attacks. Repel's effect wore off. I don't think we really need to heal our Pokemon at all. No, they're still in pretty good shape. Um, unfortunately, I don't think anybody but um, Bayleaf can learn Cut, and I really don't want to teach Bayleaf Cut. Because it's very hard to get rid of an HM move. Yep. And the reason they do that is because... Um, Because if you, say, cut a tree to get into an exclusive area, and then your Pokémon learns another move by leveling up, and you override cut, um, you might not be able to get back out again. So we need to find a Pokémon that can learn cut. Um, give me a quick second here. I want to see which Pokémon can. I know you can catch Hoppip in that field over there. I was training my Ghastly against them, which was nice and easy because they can't learn any moves that affect Ghastly. But I feel like Hoppip can't learn cut. Um, no, Sunkern could, but I don't think you can catch Sunkern here. Um, Sentret can, but I don't know if you can catch Sentret either. Of course, it is nighttime, so maybe. Otherwise, there really aren't that many Pokemon around that can learn Cut in this generation. It looks like um, all of the starters can, so that's kind of how they get around that. And of course, Sentret's a pretty common Pokemon. So, I hate to um, 
spend some more time running around here. But I think we really are going to have to catch a Sentry, because I really don't want to teach it to Bayleaf. The downside is I've only seen Rattata in here, and Rattata cannot learn it. While we're facing this, I'm going to see what we can find in um, Elix Forest. Maybe there's some Sentry there. Um, there's Oddish at nighttime, and it is nighttime. Okay, that's good, because Oddish, I'm almost positive, can learn Cut. Let me just go back a page here. So let's do that. Let's go back to Elix Forest and see if we can catch ourselves an Oddish. If I would have thought this through, I would have tried this, um... Well, I would... I was going to say I would have tried it off screen. I probably would have gone back and got a centered off screen. Because uh, I would have had to face my rival to go to Elix Forest. And it says there's a 60% chance of finding an Oddish. Joey, I'm busy. Please don't call me right now. Alright, please be Oddish. Oddish can learn Cut. I have confirmed it. The Metapod, however, cannot. Um, I probably can't 1-hit KO Metapod, so we're just going to run away. Um, you know what's weird, though, is it says that there is a 0% chance to find Metapod at night. Interesting. So the wiki seems to be wrong? Is Elix Forest a different place? No, this is definitely Elix Forest. I'm clearly missing something. I'm in Generation 4. Heart Gold and Soul Silver. It says 15% Paris. Maybe it's not nighttime, maybe it's dusk, and that's why. Um, and at dusk, there is not a, a opportunity to catch an Oddish. Um, hmm. It says morning, day, and night. But there is a lot of Weedle in... Okay, that must be what this is. What about Paris? Can Paris learn Cut? There's a small chance to find Paris. I'm going to keep running around while I look this up on my other screen. The benefits of having multiple screens. Paris... Cannot learn Cut. Alright, well, that is really unfortunate. Um, so... Decisions, decisions, decisions. Um... I think what I'm going to just go ahead and do then is um, end this episode a little bit early because there's no reason for you guys to stick around and wait for me to either wait for night to come. That's probably what I'll do. I have stuff to do, stuff to do today, so I'll probably get some errands done, uh, eat some dinner, come back, and then we'll play maybe a little bit more later on tonight. Um, and at nighttime, I can catch an Oddish, and uh, I might even do that off screen just to save the trouble. But then we can use Cut and then see the second half of Elix Forest. Um, the only other option would be to go back and get a centric, but at this point, I think it's better just to wait on night time. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the battle against our rival. We have plenty of more exciting battles yet to come. I'll also work on switching out Olive very subtly for another level 1 Togepi. Um, so I'll do that off screen too, and uh, hopefully see you guys right back here in a little while.